Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of CodePen.io, which is a great tool for students to use to see how simple web applications come together and give them the opportunity to try to modify them for themselves. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we're at CodePen.io, and I'm in my account, and I want to do a search for, let's say, a timer application. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look through this gallery and see what pops up for timer applications. And we can see there's a few different ones popping up here. Let's go to this countdown timer. So we'll click on that countdown timer. And what this shows to the student or to anyone else who's using codepen.io is the HTML, the CSS, and the JavaScript for this particular display. Uh, countdown to my birthday. That's not my birthday, by the way. And I'll show you how students can change that in just a second. So let's first take a look over here at the HTML. And this is where students can scroll through and see the HTML that's used to create the visual display here, along with the CSS that's used to create that visual display. Now students can go in and edit any aspect of that and it will instantly update here in their view now over here in the javascript we can also change elements that appear on the screen so we can see here let birthday equals september 30th 2021 well let's change it to september 3rd 2021 and we'll see it's instantly updated there as well now, if we want to change that background color, let's go into the body here and change the background color. Now, students do have to look up the hex code for the background color. So, good place to do that is just a quick little Google search. And let's say they want to do hex code for blue. And we can see there's the hex code for blue. And we'll just grab that. And they can put it right in there, update it, and now they have a blue background. And I can undo it, and we're back to yellow background. So that's a short overview of CodePen.io. Now, if students like this particular application, well, they can go up here and pin that item, and save it in their account so they can go back and work on it or play with it more later on. So again, that's codepen.io. There's a lot more to it, but that's the basic overview of what students can do with it. As always, more tips and tricks like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out freetechforteachers.com.